I'll admit, this is not the video that is supposed to be uploading today. But the video that was supposed to upload, well, it's not done. So instead, we're back on build battle. You guys know the rules. Five rounds. Let's see how many we can win. Also, fun fact, I have a new headset today. Um, So if I'm really bad at this, it's definitely because of the sound. You see, my building skills are like directly correlated to my ability to hear stuff well. So like, you know, obviously the new headset, it could screw it up. Who knows? Real interesting skin there, mate. Okay, right. Robot, fire, post office, spaceship, or button. I'm gonna vote spaceship, but I don't think it's gonna win. It looks like, is it fire or robot? Robot. Okay, that... I don't know what to build for that. Actually, scratch that. I know exactly what to build for this. Um, that is not the floor that I actually wanted. So there is a game that I am a massive fan of. I really love it. It's made by the same people that made Fortnite. It's Epic Games. And it's a VR game. It's called Robo Recall. And it is brilliant. It is a great stress reliever. You know, you just get to smash up robots and stuff. But also, it has a a really unique design for their robots and stuff and a fairly fun story to sort of play through. So I wonder, can I do it justice? Probably not, because it is not an easy design to build. But you know, we're gonna see what we can do. This is the same thing as always, just like spam blocks and see how it comes out. All right, so then it's kind of got like some metal sort of here. It's got like a full on humanoid sort of shape on it. So yeah, tell me in the comments below if you've actually heard of Robo Recall because genuinely I think it might be my favorite VR game. Side note, I should do a video on Minecraft VR one day. So yeah, let's give it like a nice red shirt and stuff. I can already tell this is absolutely not coming out well. I think maybe concrete whilst it's the right color, it is not really the right texture so it doesn't work very well. But you know, we'll just have to see. Right, so all also, I need actually, I want to get some white concrete because they don't actually have a gray sort of design. They are actually more white in the game. I do recognize almost nobody is going to recognize this from Robo Recall, but it's just a really fun game and I really want to build it. <laughs> you know what? It's not awful. Um, Maybe the shirt needs to be a bit longer though. Right. Okay. And how can we give you, let's give you like a sort of mouth like that and I think custom colors let's actually go with maroon or something oh kind of working well there I like that now here's the question can I put like a redstone torch on it oh I can kind of like a little antenna or something and oh my gosh there is only one minute remaining where on earth did time go okay uh let's just kind of give it a really basic arm or something and sort of same on the other side except let's do this one sort of reaching out a bit or something. Okay, not looking that great, I have to be honest. Definitely would not say that it's one of my best builds. What I am wondering, maybe if I do something like that, yeah, it kind of adds a little bit of detail. Unfortunately, I don't think it's the best. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there like an electrical particle? Uh, the firework spark maybe? Let's just like, okay, I missed it. You know what though? I feel like Robot is one of those ones where everyone thinks they're gonna be good at building it, but they all vote for the topic, but like it doesn't work. A robot is not an easy thing to try and build in five minutes. This one doesn't feel like a robot, I'll admit. That feels more like a human. Okay, I missed the zoom in there. You know what maybe my one will do okay actually like it might have put that poop away sir oh this is probably gonna win for that exact reason people are gonna vote good because it's five nights at freddy's you know what that's fair that's actually a unique idea okay this one's really cute so it gets an epic this is how you win over my heart in a build battle or something just build something cute oh this one's quite cool as well that one also gets an epic okay this one's sort of went like a little more sci-fi or something. It kind of reminds me of a um, minion from Megamind or something. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that noise? But um, I, I won, that's cool.
I I have no idea what that sound is. What on earth was that? Also, I noticed someone in the chat said, like, how did this win? My one was better. So, firework, bird, maze, princess, or drink. I have voted for bird. I want to build a bird. There we go. Cool. Bird. Right. Okay. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do for this. So, I need that. I need spruce wood. Although, I don't think the wood exists. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, I'll take the logs. And then, let's go with dark oak leaves or something and what we'll do we'll change the floor to grass and we're going to change the biome to jungle and then what we're gonna do we're actually gonna do a branch just up here or something so we'll build up here and remove that and let's just do like a nice little branch nothing too fancy really just sort of curving over like that i think that's good and you know what let's not get stuck in the sort of trend of going okay i can build this or something and then you start building it and you realize you've actually run out of time and you haven't built the main thing so instead of adding decoration to that sort of branch like a bunch of leaves or something instead we're gonna focus on the actual build and i think i'm going to base this off of the birds that are currently in my garden we have like a really nice sort of bird feeder out in my garden and it has attracted so many different birds and what is currently sitting out there is a blue tit and stuff so let's see does acacia trapdoor exist it doesn't okay you know what acacia slab actually probably works better though let's try something like that yeah then custom skulls we're gonna get a black one like that and it's kind of okay uh that looks worse okay put in that slab what if i extend its beak no that does not work okay maybe i went a little too too small in the start. I've got an idea. What if we just go and do some smaller little birds next to it? Something like that? That looks ridiculous, but you know what? I find it funny, so we're gonna go with it. Right, okay, and as I said, we should probably add some leaves, so let's just go and scatter a bunch of leaves around it like this. It just needs to look like a nice sort of decorated branch. You know what? That is looking quite nice, actually. That's looking really cute. Okay, right. I also know that there's something that's always going to win people over, and that is putting some nice little hearts. So let's go and put some hearts above their heads. Oh, look at that. And also what we're going to do, we are going to sort of scatter some leaves here on the ground just to give it a bit of depth and stuff. And then we're also going to bone meal it. There we go. Just like that. You know what? I'm quite proud of this. I don't think think I can add a nest in 25 seconds so I'm just gonna like put more leaves on it I think and you know what for build number two I'm quite proud of that I think this bird could definitely use a little work but for like it's kind of funny oh this is angry birds okay that gets an epic because I feel like that is a really unique idea also I'm a massive fan of angry birds oh okay maybe it's not a mostly unique idea um because several people have done it. Is this, uh, this is Looney Tunes, isn't it? Okay, fairly wide bird and a fairly flat bird here. Quite nice, quite similar to mine. This one is more like a goose or something. What is up with its eyes? I'll give it a good because it is actually different from the standard bird. This one's quite cute as well, so I'll give it a good. I'm being much nicer with my voting this time. Normally, like, I'm quite harsh with my votes. Okay, come on, guys, come on. You gotta love the nice little, like, sort of bird and the little baby bird all on their branch and stuff. Put the poop away. I think that's the same guy as before. I think he just doesn't like my builds. Oh, I did not quite win. It's that same noise. I got fourth though, so not the worst. Could have been better, but I will take it. Especially since, like, we seem to do quite well in the first round. Okay, so third round, trampoline, orange, teddy bear, dollhouse, or pool. I am going to vote for teddy bear. It is absolutely not gonna win though. What is winning? Pool. Okay, you know what? I've got an idea. We're gonna go different from everyone else. Whilst everybody is probably building a swimming pool, we're not gonna to do that we're gonna do like eight ball pool or whatever it is is it eight 
Is it 16? Eight? What? How many balls are in pool? I feel like that's something I should know, but at the same time, why on earth would I know that? Okay, apparently it's already been a minute, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't make this too big. So I think leave like that sort of amount of space, maybe. Oh, I just realized corners are going to be difficult. Uh, what if I just do that? That seems like it's going to be the best option. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that is the same distance. That looks correct. Correct. That is not the same distance. Never mind. Okay. This needs to come in by one, just like that. There we go. All right. That seems to be correct. So now let's quickly sort of fill this in. We need to make it an actual table. Right. Okay. And I think dark oak wood or something, or dark oak stairs. Sorry. Let's put this in around the edge just to give it a nice shape. Okay. I am really running out of time here, though. I have taken way too long to build this, but I have actually just had a good idea. I can use the custom player heads again for the balls, can't I? So you know what? I think that will actually look quite cool. I'm going to see if I can do that. But first of all, I should probably get all of these legs done. So let's just sort of bring it down on the corners like this. There we go. And we'll add a little bit of fanciness. Just sort of put a curve on the legs there. Something like that. That looks quite nice actually. Then I think let's get some custom skulls. So color, we obviously need a white one. I think also we're gonna get a red sort of one and a yellow one. So let's sort of like scatter these around or something, I think. Just like that. Then I don't know if it's a dark blue one or a black one or like maybe it's both or something, but let's do that. There we go. That's quite nice actually actually. I think what I'll do is stripped oak planks or logs, sorry, and then if I kind of do something like this, oh wait, no, let's correct, actually no, let's try it like that. So one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, and I think put that sort of, that. there we go, it's kind of like the, the queue, that's what it's called, a queue. And there we go, we'll sort of do another one like that. That seems quite good actually, you know what, I quite like that. I definitely think it's a little dull, but like like, I kind of don't know what I could have added, but I think it's unique. Hopefully it gets votes for that. See, this is what I mean. Everyone else has done a swimming pool, so maybe people will look at mine and go, oh, that's unique. That gets a legendary. Oh, hi, Garfield. This one's quite nice, like quite sort of rustic and scenic. I get it. This is like standard swimming pool. Again, sort of like standard swimming pool. This is the thing. I didn't want to do just like standard swimming pool. I wanted to do something that might be unique. This is quite nice. This sort of gives me the feeling of like hot springs or something. Again, it's, it's just another pool. There's nothing unique about it. Come on, guys. Come on. You gotta love the, the good old fashioned game game of pool. Who says what the- it's pool. Do people not know what pool is? Don't tell me you guys have like a different name for it or something in the US. Have I just like built a thing based on the UK word? Like, you know, you have pool and you have snooker. I feel like people didn't get my genius. Honestly, this one has like a rubber duck in it or something. I'll give it a good. This is a paddling pool, but it's also not complete. So uh, yeah, I can't vote it too high, unfortunately. I got eight. Are you serious? I mean, it exists. Definitely a pool table. Okay, rubber duck, hurricane, piano, potato, or magic. You know what? I'm gonna leave that one. Let's see what wins. It is rubber duck. Okay. Now, obviously, I can build a rubber duck, but like... Can I make it unique? I don't know if I actually can. I kind of don't have any ideas for this. Right, let's set the floor to blue wool just as a start. Now, what sort of shape should our rubber duck be? I think something like that. And then sort of like expand it out or something. Give it this sort of shape maybe. Kind of needs a bit more of a tail. Let's try something like that. That seems to 
to work. Let's try something like that. It's definitely not perfect, but it works. I think it's okay. Maybe a shape like that or something for the wings. In fact, I think maybe invert that or something. Yeah, that's better. Something like that. Okay, and then we need to put a head on this thing. Here's the thing. I am not good at building ducks. I can build giraffes. I can do stuff like that. I can't do ducks or even really birds given the track record of this video. All right, so let's get some like black eyes for that or something and also acacia here. There we go. It's a duck, but like it's just kind of generic. I don't know what to add to it. I think for now, we'll leave it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna sort of add like the ripple effect around it because, you know, theoretically, this thing is in the water and stuff. So like, you know, we'll sort of put some cyan and some light blue. I should have done that the other way round, but you know what? We'll call it a stylistic choice and we'll say it's good. Yeah, like that. There we go. It's shading. That's what it is, guys. It's shading. I didn't just screw up which color is darker. Anyway, I think we're gonna sort of trail some of these out a bit like it's moving. Just like that or something. Yeah, there we go. And you know what? Let's get some white stained glass and it, it's gonna kind of be like bubbles or something. Maybe this is all in a massive bathtub. That's what it is. This is all taking place inside a massive bathtub and these are obviously bubbles. And I think as always, just to kind of add to the cuteness or something, we'll just put some hearts above it just like that. And you know what? I quite like my rubber duck. It's definitely not perfect. I also wonder, is there a bubbles particle effect? There is maybe not. I feel like bubbles do exist, but I don't know what they would be. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, this one, it's... It's very cartoonish, but also I don't think it's a rubber duck. Okay, you know what? That's actually fairly good pixel art, and for once, I will give it a good. Just because I kind of like rubber ducks. You know what? I quite like my rubber duck now. <laughs> is, this, is this the build? You know what? It gets a good. Man, I am I am so inconsistent with my voting, aren't I? Okay, that is um I can't show that. That is not a build I can show. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna go find a different lobby as well, because uh that was that was not just one singular build. So for the final round in a new lobby, I think this is the final round. I've lost track of how many I've done. Yes, this is the final round. Right, beard, weightlifting, plate, treasure chest, or zoo. Ooh. I don't know whether I want treasure chest or zoo. Uh, hmm. I'll leave it because one of them's gonna win. Okay, it's zoo. I believe this is a topic we have done before, but let's see if I can do something better. What if we do a sort of safari thing or something? So change the floor to grass. And what we need to do, we need to do some sort of path here. And you know what? This topic is very fitting considering in the last round, I literally said I can build giraffes. So you know what we're gonna build? A giraffe. So yeah, let's just sort of do the rest of this path here. Just sort of connect something up at least. Okay, just like that. Now we need yellow and we're going to do yellow wool, I think, because it's just a little bit brighter. But then, uh, you know, we'll stick with brown wool. Right, okay, so how to build a giraffe. You do two tall legs like that, then you leave a three block gap and do another one like that. Never mind, it's a two block gap. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. You want to do a two block high body just like this. There you go. Then you add a connecting piece for the neck and bring it up to around that height there. Then you put a head on it and there you go. You've got a basic shape of a giraffe and you just want to add some spots randomly. Let's go like that or something. That seems like a good distribution. Then you want to get a custom black head just like that. And here's the thing. You do it wonky. You give your giraffe a little bit of wonk. 
And also, if you want to make it look even better, do we have dark oak buttons? We do! So then, if you do something like this, you can add a bunch of buttons onto the build and make it look like it's got even more smaller spots. Okay, anyway, so that is a giraffe done. What about some other builds? Because, you know, you don't just have one animal in a zoo. Otherwise, it's a little more of just a sanctuary. Uh, right, okay, let's do an elephant and i know the perfect color for that is cyan terracotta and you know what we'll do a sort of similar thing to the giraffe but we'll just shorten its legs a little bit similar sort of thing connecting up the neck and everything like that then we gotta put some big ears on it and you know what we'll connect it up like that instead okay and then like what about a trunk like that that is not great i'll admit I think that's kind of good. Just, like, take off the two blocks. Um, I accidentally removed my head, which is a problem. So, you know, we'll just give it some eyes like that. And look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Now, do we have andesite walls? We do not. Okay, do we have cobblestone walls? We absolutely should. Yep, there we go. And we can just sort of give it some little tusks. Ah, oh, that is adorable. And speaking of adorable, we need to add our hearts. Just like that. Also, to add a bit of texture to the ground we need some bone meal and we're also gonna grab some leaves let's just grab jungle so very quickly just bone meal the ground make it look good just like that and add a few leaves so it's not quite a zoo it's a bit more of a safari but you know what i like it it's kind of cute this one it's it's a nice scenery but like it's not a zoo is it there's no animals this one um the animal appears to have escaped oh there's a lion little bit of animal cruelty mate like you want to maybe expand the cage is that <laughs> okay i think that's also supposed to be a monkey in there well it's a zoo so it gets a good it's a giraffe let's go and it's got a long tongue as well it gets good oh oh this looks good this looks complex whoa that is a very good elephant. I don't think we're going to win against this. I think this is a koala. This is more of an aquarium than anything. Um, Again, like, guys, put your animals in good conditions. Okay, come on, my Bill. I'm quite proud of this now, actually. I saw a legendary. You, sir, were holding a legendary. I like you. Oh, oh my goodness, what happened? This is also not a zoo. Okay, this... I, I did not win. What did I get? I got second. And by, like, a considerable margin as well. You know what? Very proud of that. And you know what? That sounds like the perfect time to end the episode. So, you know, subscribe.